Hi, I'm Sydney Blanchard. I'm here with JC Byler. She has been the AQHA world champion, two-time junior national champion, as well as the Texas State High School Rodeo all-around champion. This girl has it all. She rides tons of barrel horses and her mom comes from a rodeo background where she helps all of us NFR girls prepare for the NFR and get our horses ready uh, with her horseswim.com. So JC, you are currently in the lead for two national titles through Team Fearless and the top 40 races in the nation. Tell me a little bit about your run at the Royal Crown. Well, first off, uh, my horse, uh, she was, uh, she's definitely, she's a young horse. And um, it was kind of just one of those runs just to get the feel for her. And like, I mean, the first barrel was great. And like, it was definitely one of the best. But with the second barrel, we had like a little bobble in it because uh, she just likes to run. And I mean, she just like, wants, she's such an athlete. And I mean, she just wants to get going in like the third barrel. Like we just kind of like still handle it and just went around. And I mean, she still acted pretty great till the end. Your first but, girl, you absolutely rocked it. Um, BJ Foxy Miss is her name, and you can tell how incredibly fast she is. She did step off on you there. You got her back. She rocked the third barrel, and I mean, flew out of the pin. So mm -hmm. you can definitely tell the you know the type of horsepower that you have underneath you here. Oh yes, definitely. I mean, like I said, she's just a true athlete, and all she wants to do is like try to do her best and with her run but like sometimes it's just a little too much power for her to handle but other than that I mean she's just such an amazing mare. I'm gonna look for you guys to be definitely kicking our butts in the barrel racing industry because you can tell how fast she is here she makes mistakes and still you know comes back to you smokes it this is a really nice mare so tell me a little bit um about what your program is at home what do you you know you guys have a bunch of really nice barrel horses um you do you raise them do you train them what are your goals for this year let's hear about you because that's what team fearless is all about well, our program, I mean, if we, uh, if they're born and raised on our place, we'll definitely, like, train them and to just try to season them out, and um, we'll, some, we'll even uh, send them over to our barrel horses to have Ryan Padone season them out for us, and, um, and we definitely, like, um, once, like, she'll season them out for us for a little bit and she'll send them back and we'll definitely get to riding at home and to just get them kind of, you know, get a feel for like the rodeo community and just to take them on the road and just to get a feel for that. And, uh, and it's definitely cool for that kind of, to do that. And definitely, and um, even with, uh, Latricia Mundor, even her, like, that's one of her mares that she was willing to get, let me ride. So it was, it's pretty cool to have to be on um, to ride that horse. It's pretty phenomenal that you know you have proven yourself at such a young age that some of these top trainers or top girls want to see you on their horses already. I know that you have the first horse that I made the NFR on and broke records on, and I completely that it was the perfect home. Right. And so to see you uh, jockey shotgun and as well jockey, you know, other NFR retired horses and then jockey now season some of the futurity horses that some of the best trainers are putting out there. Is that something that you've dreamt of since you were a kid? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, when I was little, I definitely I definitely looked up to all of like the NFR uh, ladies and like I looked up to all the trainers even now and it's just like a, it's just so cool to have that kind of dream kind of come true just to like ride their horses and to be under their training and to just you know follow them and to just learn everything they have to teach you it's just it's really cool What's fun for me to hear you say that is you don't know this, but when I was in high school, I came out, your mom took me to Houston Rodeo, and we got to watch Martina McBride, and we watched the barrels, and uh, she sat there and she looked at me and she said, someday you're going to be running here. 
And I just kind of looked at her like, oh, wow, really? <laughs> you know, like you believe in me? And it's crazy that just a few short years later, I was running down the alley. And so every time I'm at Houston, I think about your mom and how she put that, uh, that dream in my heart, or, you know, that uh, dream that made, and made it look like a reality for me. So I can't imagine the type of support and the, you know, the mental game toughness that your mom just instills in your brain because she definitely helped me with that when I was your age. So you definitely are on the right track for success in the barrel racing industry. Thank you. Yes, I know for a fact that like my mom, she's always by my side. And I mean, she's always there to help out whenever. And I mean, she's willing to help other, but she always kind of told me she would put me above her list of to help. And like, she's just definitely, she's just so amazing just to be there and just to help out. It's definitely, she's definitely a hand and definitely like my number one fan. <laughs> Oh, well, I look forward to watching you at the upcoming top races in the nation. Are you headed to Alvarado or the Patriot? I am uh, heading over to the uh, Patriot next week, and I'm definitely excited on how that will turn out. I'm excited for you. So I really hope that you keep trucking forward and uh, try to win one of those national titles because I would love to see you as a Team Fearless national champion. Thank you. That really means a lot. Absolutely. So make sure to ride Fearless at the Patriot and I'll look for you in the results. Cool. Thank you so much.